What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Again, we are in on the E46 and we are prepping it for the paint job. So, if you guys remember a while back when I first got this, it had a damaged boot lid and rear bumper and like the, the trim in between the two. Um, still damaged trim, but the, the boot lid's been changed to a nice new, well, non-damaged one. And so has the bumper, but the, the bumper I'm not a fan of. Um, it's like the factory, it's one of the factory ones that's like a bit more handy gun, you know? Um, so I am not a fan of this. I don't like that reflector. I don't like that bit of plastic and I don't like just how it all kind of is a bit messy, okay? So I went and bought an M Sport one, which is in here. Come with me, come with me. All right, it's in here. Um, side note, lighting guys. Um, I've got one rubbish fluoro I'm in a rental, okay? So otherwise, obviously, I would have the best lighting in this garage because um, I'm a sparky. So <laughs> I would have like made it crazy. But if anyone out there has any ideas that are temporary, that can be installed and removed without damaging things or, you know, like permanent, you know, rental, you know? I can take it out and I can leave and there's no holes, there's no damage. Um, like even if I got to like, whatever, you know, I, I can wire up. I don't want to wire anything up. Um, if it can be a plug-in, that's sweet. Even if I've got to wire it all to a, like a, a bunch of LEDs to a simple plug-in, something like that, I can, I can run with that. I can do a double adapter where my garage is plugged in and plug it in there. But I need, I need lighting in here. This sucks. I don't like this because it's, it sucks for you guys. But, okay, sorry, tangent. M Sport bumper from a coupe, uh, sorry, from a convertible. So I'm told that it fits, it better fit. If it doesn't, I've got the guy's number. He seemed like a really good bloke, so he's probably gonna be like, yeah, then bring it back, we're good. But the diffuser is broken. Um, not the biggest deal, not the biggest worry. There are lots of them for sale, so I will pick something up. Um, just please don't be upset if it's not picked up and done by the time the car's painted, because it may be something I get in a few months, um, might get it after the trip, something like that, okay? But for now, today, we have to put that on and I also need to pull off my front bumper and install the carbon lip because I tried to like kind of offer it up to it the other night and it's not, okay, so it's not a perfect fit purely because I think the bottom of the bumper kind of flares out a little bit too much. So having it off the car upside down and you know, being able to fit it properly is gonna be the go. Uh, unfortunately, that's, I was hoping to be able to just like put it on from underneath, but it means I'm gonna do it properly. So I'm gonna whip that off. I'm gonna put rib nuts underneath, all that sort of stuff. It's gonna be mint, it's gonna be really nice. Uh, so we're gonna do that and we've gotta put the rear bumper on. So that's today's video. Let's jump in and put some new bumpers on. So to whip this bumper off, it's actually super easy. I actually love it. Uh, there's one bolt in there, one bolt on the other side, one bolt under here, one bolt under there, all eight mils, whip them out, and then you've got two big, big T50 Torx fit bolts holding the bumper on. And then, because I've already done that, you should be able to just give it one of these, and it comes out. Come on, you dog. And those little bits that look difficult, they were just like the two fog lights and the horns. So I'm actually gonna take the fog lights and the housings out today as well, uh, because that nap's just out, and then I, all I have to do is whip the bumper off. And when I put the bumper back on, I'm just gonna put the two big bolts in, because it has to come off the paint job anyway. So, just makes it easier. All right, so I'm just gonna whip it over and see how it lines up underneath, and hope that, it, hope that it's gonna be kind of easy for one person. At least it sits still, you know what I mean? All right, I'm gonna time lapse you guys and uh, see how I go because it, it feels like it's not gonna fit. No, I can make it fit. It just might not look as perfect as I guess it would have on a, maybe it's a, maybe it's designed for a real M3. Uh, actually, that feels pretty good there. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Eh, that feels rubbish there. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna clean it up. I am going to line it up with the backs. 
I'm gonna tech screw it in, in a couple of places. Like literally, like I'll chuck one in there, maybe one in there, and on the, on the other side. Flip it over and see how it fits, and then I'm going to adjust accordingly. I would like it to be flush on the back, have a nice gap on the sides, like there and there. And then, I guess the front is just gonna be the front. Uh, maybe I'll be able to have a play with it with the boys at the panel shop, but, Let's see what we can do. Time lapse time. I don't care about the scene. I don't care about the location. All that matters not to me. That you wherever I go, baby. I just need you by my side. Yeah. That's until the day I die. Ever since you found me. We the only thing I see Forever and a day is you and me And they can't replicate this unity No pressure I can see I'm watching and they try to do Okay, so great success. The only failure is this little bit that has to sit back. So clearly that's what it wants to do. So that's fine. I'm going to pull that out, re riv up that, um, and then tighten everything up nice and tight. Uh, but it's lined up really well. I will tighten it all up and then pop it on the car and show you the final product. All right, so we're going to have to whip this out um off with this off now normally there's a couple of bolts back here that hold it in and on the other side i didn't put them in because i knew it was coming off of paint and i've got to do these three and these three because it is just a skin so i'm gonna have to pull this bumper off pull out the rio bar install out the new one slide it back in so let's do that ring i'm talking this right here forever we ain't here just for the summer always so intent we ain't never had to come up young right now but we gonna watch the numbers run up honestly a lot of way you carry it it was an easy decision i had to make all right so all i have to do is remove this rio bar and then install it into the other one and it looks to be just a bunch of like plastic clips so i'll like squeeze them pop them out pop them out all the way across and then just pop them back in on the other side so i'm not going to make you watch me do that because that's boring so i'm going to show you just when the new bumpers on oh there's a bunch down here as well wow that's a lot of them okay cool i'm gonna jump in whip these out pop it in the new one and show you it on the car all right all on all on now as you can see it's got a bunch of damage got a bunch of cracks all in the paint but if I'm going to sand that back, I'm going to be here for literally ever. Um, so I'm just going to take it to the paint shop and we'll go over it with a, um, you know, with their sanders because that'll be five minutes instead of an hour, you know. Um, and as you can see, the diffuser isn't on because it's broken. So yeah, um, all good. Again, we'll just uh, replace that. Um, but yeah, it's fine. But it fits up great. It, I mean, it's going to because it's OEM. But yeah, fits up really good. Um, you know, a little bit loose here, but uh, that's because the mounts underneath, like in there, aren't on. But that's fine. It's not going anywhere, and it's just to get it there because I'm then I'm going to whip it back off to prep the whole thing, and it should be good. All right, so it took a bit of time, but we got it on. So yeah, it just sits back a little bit, like ah, oh, 10 mil. I'm gonna have to cut that um, fender liner, which is fine, but sorry about the shadow. But yeah, she fits really good. I'm actually stoked. Took a bit of time, but yeah, just moving that back that little bit um, made a world of difference. So she's on. Obviously, we'll be coming off to fix that and any other little bits of damage, but I really like how it's really rounded, I'm um, sorry, squared off the uh, bottom of the bumper. And obviously when it's all painted, that's gonna look absolutely amazing. So, stoked. All right, so we're done. We're done for that. So rear bumper is changed over. Front bumper, uh, I've taken the fog lights out. I've taken the surrounds out, etc., etc. Just because they're gonna have to come out anyway. Uh, and I think I showed, did I show you how to install that? It's like literally two little screws. It like clips in, done. And the fog lights, one screw, it's great. Um, or one bolt and then I so all the little sections that you screw into wow that you screw into the, the like from through the Rio bar into the actual front bumper um, the, the middle one actually didn't like pop through the hole so it, as the Rio bar was pushed against it with like being mounted up obviously that one was actually pushing out so I had a little like bump in the middle of the bumper so I needed to make sure I got rid of that and I want to do that before I went to the panel shop just to save time while I'm there. So did that as well, which I'm really stoked with. 
Uh, what else we got? That's pretty much it. So yeah, now it's gonna be finished the rub down of the car. Um, that never doesn't sound sus. <laughs> and then, yeah, well, I'm gonna do a video on rubbing it all down and prepping it all. For you guys, it's actually, I've been doing it. I've been like creating it slowly, but it's a lot of work and I wanna make sure it's right because then it'll be, you know, it'll be really good. Um, yeah, it's a lot of work. I did, I did like four, five videos today, uh, as you will notice over the last four videos, um, or the last two and the next one, or I don't know. I don't, can't remember how they're gonna come out, but I'm wearing the exact same clothes. So that's why that it all happened today. And I didn't want to just give you one like hour long video because well, like honestly, it's because the average watch time of my videos is under five minutes. You can look at my analytics and see that. So anything that's like a really, really long video, I think is just gonna be a waste. Um, I don't wanna bore you guys, so I'd rather give you short, snappy, like interesting, fun videos that you either learn from or entertaining or whatever. You don't have to sit down and watch a whole movie, you know what I mean? So I hope you guys appreciate that. I hope that they're good for you. I think the algorithm likes more than 10 minutes. Uh, so I try and do that for you guys, but I, to be honest, I just get the content in and um, it, it is what it is. If it's an eight minute video, it is an eight minute video. If it's 20 minutes, because I had to fit it in, it's 20 minutes. That's it for today. Uh, well, that's it for this video. <laughs> so if you like, like, subscribe. If you wanna hang around and see everything and see how this thing turns out. Um, if you wanna you know, support the channel, support the builds, all that sort of stuff, Patreon, uh, advertised earlier in the video. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to, only if you want to. Um, I honestly, just your views and you guys hanging around is more than enough for me. So I really appreciate it. So thank you guys for coming along and I will see you in the next one. See you guys.